Hey, what's up, Dean? C Performance. We are back. It is the day after Christmas. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody. I uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. We've been getting a lot, a lot for me, anyways. Um, sorry, but uh, appreciate it. The holidays are almost over, which is good, bad, whatever. But uh, we are here. Jonathan's motor. This is a six liter that we had Rob build. I am getting all the transmission stuff figured out. I am not. I openly admit I am not a manual transmission guy. Um, we did a lot of them back in the day, but all the technology and stuff has changed. So I got the pilot bearing in there. Uh, I got the, the flywheel on, all cleaned up, all torqued. Like I went through and torqued everything. Uh, clutch disc with the alignment tool, uh, pressure plate with all the ARP bolts. Um, so the flywheel also has ARP bolts. Everything is torqued. Pretty crazy. Everything's Loctited, ARP lube, torqued. It's insane. Um, I got the bell housing on so that we can measure the throw because I got the transmission out um already started kind of doing some stuff but i am thoroughly confused on this flat front face plate does not fit replacing this because of all the bearings and stuff that are pushed out so i am lost on that unless i'm doing something wrong um but the way this piece is machined i could be doing something wrong it is a very likely chance that i am doing something wrong uh, this is the threaded piece for the tilt and bearing. Um, see, that bearing is not pushing out. That's where that bearing sits, and that's why this is machined the way it is, with this big groove, and then there's a uh, shim in there. Oh, boy. Um, so I am a bit lost on how this faceplate goes. Um, so of course I went and called and this has like some lube pocket up here that needs to line up with this and all that good stuff. So I've, I've called everybody. I called Tilton, I called Tick, called Tremec. Everybody I believe is still on vacation, probably till like the first or something crazy knowing my luck. Um, but <sighs> I can at least measure my bell housing face to my shifter location, uh, add the width of the bell housing, and get a rough idea roughly where the shifter is going to be. I flip the shifter. This is the, the Tremec allows for two shifter positions with their shifter. It also has a third shifter location, which I think this is more like a Mustang shifter. Um, like a fox body manual shifter type of deal um, and then you take this plate off there's a kit you could buy it's a, a forward forward shifter option conversion something like that um, so it's literally another cup in here same as these it all ties together and you take this off put a cover plate on it and then you mount your new shifter up here so measuring this I measured standard location on the shifter. It's really far back. Uh, I moved it. This moves it roughly three inches. It's very, very close to three inches. Um, it's still a little bit far back. Doable. Definitely doable. But I, I really am trying to get it in the factory location because he's got all the factory console and everything in there. So I kind of rough measured. Plus, they give you, Tremec gives you a sheet that gives you all these dimensions anyways. This location right here puts the shifter like damn near dead nuts in the middle of the hole where the factory shifter is. Now, mind you, the motor's not mounted, so I don't know the full placement. I'm just kind of guessing at the firewall will be, you know, an inch above the head, forward, behind, behind the head. Um, so I'm kind of just rough guessing on where that shift guessing where the shifter will be um that's what i'm trying to figure out but i want to get this figured out 
as well. Uh, we got all the bolts for it. We got everything for it. Um, also, if you notice, the truck is much shinier than it was. The reason that this truck hasn't been in videos because I've had all the parts pretty much. Uh, there's just all the minor stuff, radiator and stuff like that. that we got to get ordered um, because I sent it off to get painted. Uh, Jonathan is, is an extremely, extremely nice person. Um, probably one of the nicest people you can meet. And I felt like he, he was already arranging for paint. So... I talked to the painter. Um, I made an arrangement with him to have the truck painted so that when we get it back and we get it together, running, driving, Jonathan basically drives out of here and his truck is done. Uh, the painter, I sort of kind of went and snatched it from the painter because I'm, I'm getting to the point where I need to get his truck put back together or started putting together so I can know what i need to order and stuff um but this is it's very very close to the factory color other than it has we we went ahead and decided without jonathan's permission unfortunately but to add in some flake some extra flake or pearl something like that so the back bumper did not get painted and this is the actual factory color it's a little bit very very close so that has um metallic in it and it, it's a pretty dark red and you can kind of see like when you come where there's no light in my shop which is almost everywhere there's just more of a pearl flake in this um and it's very very close about as close as we can get to the factory color um and i had mentioned previously I, we he jonathan got a new bumper but i just don't like the black plastic um and this is why I like Jonathan. He doesn't like it either. <laughs> so the bumper is color matched, but then you got this plastic step on there that's black and it fades and does all that. So he had actually bought a long time ago a roll pan. And I had mentioned in one of the videos, man, I would really like to do a roll pan on, on the truck. I think it would, it would just set it off, make it look really good. So being at a little bit of a debacle on the transmission, which is fine. We'll get that sorted as soon as they get back in office. I decided, let me go ahead, take the bumper off and start fitting this. It fits really, really good. I had to trim this, the, like the spare tire brace cross member. It's a cross member that they bubbled out for the spare tire to fit. I had to trim th those pieces off. That's it. Basically this lip just had to come off in a tiny little bit because of the license plate recess in it. Um, and this looks like a really, really nice piece. It's definitely like laser cut, uh, designed pretty well. It, to me, it looks like it's all TIG welded, which is nice. And then the corners are all finished. Um, so far, it looks like a really nice piece, which is cool. The fat, I believe the factory light goes in there. He also got in this box, he got one of these uh oh, fancy dancy i haven't even taken it out yet um truck bar with attitude turn signal running light brake light 48 inch so i'm not i gotta measure that that looks like it's gonna be jonathan what did you get me I'm not sure oh it might f it, damn jonathan so that should fit in there. I haven't even opened it yet, but I believe it's like the little strip that goes right along in there. Um, but what I'm gonna do is fit this. I'm gonna get this bolted in. The painter's gonna have to paint it. Um, I'm gonna get it fit in, and I believe I'm just gonna utilize this bolt hole right here on each side. And I'm gonna bolt the sides. I'll, I'll have to come up with a spacer to not pinch the metal together and make it look all deformed and then i will probably nut and bolt because i can get my hand up in here so i'll do the nice um button head allens that i always do that pisses everybody off i'll do all of those uh he has like look at all these parts 
now mind you this is all interior stuff that's got to go back in but every single box up there plus those two right there are brand new headlights but every single box is all brand new parts that I wasn't fully aware I knew he had bought some stuff he may have told me everything he bought but I knew he bought some stuff but he bought everything this truck is going to be like a brand new truck when it leaves here and I am super super happy that I'm going to have to do something about that so I can guarantee you I take this off and we are going to powder coat that piece um, I don't care that the latch catches on it and strikes it but I can't have it look like that um, yep, yeah, you can see the bed liner. So the bed liner was done. That needs to be touched up, finished up. Um, everything needs to be touched up, finished up. I kind of, like I said, I kind of rushed and grabbed the truck. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this fitted and then we'll come back and we'll kind of see how the rusty bare metal looks on there. And, uh, I know it's going to, it's going to give it a, a much, much, much better look. And then, uh, yeah, so I'll be back. All right, so right now I got the roll pan up and in there. Pretty much got it sitting just below the edge. I could lift it a little bit, um, just below the edge. I only got it hung with a screw here and a screw there for now because I took the light bar out, and the light bar is actually shorter, which is fine. Um, but I need to look at how the tailgate swings. I don't know if the light bar could be set like this or if I need to maybe set it down, which these little three MP or little plastic pieces with the double sided tape, they come off. They're like little standoffs, but it doesn't look like they do anything really. So I may be able to just take them off and either, you know, adhesive glue it down or use all these screw holes and just screw it into the roll pan itself. Um, so I got that up in there. I'm gonna drill the rest of the holes. It's getting late. And then I'll have to shim out the top a little bit, but uh, it's not a big deal. This side here, that's, you know, quarter of an inch. So I'll have to shim the hole out just a little, little bit or pull it off and kind of re-bend that tab, which I don't really want to do. Um, I can, but I don't really want to. And then I will, from underneath, you can see it's sitting flush against that piece, and that's really, really close. Um, but I think we're going to leave this little lip right here out and the roll pan will sit flush with the rest of the body up there um i mean it's kind of hard to say which kind of look i like better but that's what i'm thinking and then uh, i just need to make this hole here to be able to run a bolt sideways and lights and all that now this is a cool light too it actually has like a trailer harness which he has a trail harness right there. So I can literally just plug this into here, in theory, plug this in, and that light bar should work exactly how it's intended to work. I'll, obviously, I'll hide the wires, you know, from up inside of here. I'll bring them in and then tuck them up somewhere. Um, but, yep, yep. So the roll pan will be pretty much done. And he's just, like I said, he's got to sand it all. There's space to get the, the bolts on it um, for the license plate, which I may weld the nuts from the backside. Whoops. I may just kind of tack the bolts from the backside, put the plate on there and, and tighten it up, and then just put a couple of tacks on the backside so that he could can run the bolts in and... Uh, you know, not have to worry about holding something back there. So, yep, yep. Yeah, so that's that. I may even try the new little pressure washer thing I got. Um, it's one of those ones you hook up to 
the pressure washer and it like uses uh, sand and sandblast. Um, I may even try that to help get rid of the heavy grind marks and then uh, you know we can go over what's showing with the DA, DA the whole thing and then I'll, I'll just put some spray primer on it so it doesn't flash over real quick but yeah so that stuff's on there for now uh like i said i'm gonna finish drilling these holes um and then hopefully tomorrow i'll hear back from either Tremec, tilton tick about that throw out bearing setup and i can finish setting up the throw out bearing it's like adjustable it's got like a threaded thing and i am just lost on this faceplate that they included all the kits i see they just have the threaded adapter the um that the throttle bearing threads on and then it kind of sits against here um so a little lost on that not, not a manual guy but i did go ahead and wire up the reverse switch and the speedometer to a deutsch connector so i just went to a four pin deutsch connector um this will be the only plug on the transmission and i believe it had kind of a forward uh plug it's in here somewhere i may have tossed it a little farther than i thought there it is so it had this kind of connector which uh, sort of it's definitely not that one but i think yeah, that's the only connector. So I'll have to find in here. Uh, I have to find the speedometer wire and the reverse light. I'll have to find that in here. Uh, so there's seven wires, it looks like. Yeah, there's seven wires in here. So I'm not fully sure what all seven wires would be. See, that's this connector here, which, amazingly, there's only four wires on this one. So, there's speed, and there's reverse. So, that'll be pretty easy to sort those. Um, hmm, no, that's a seven wire one. So, yeah, I'll have to figure that out. I don't know what this plug is for. But it houses the speedometer wire. Or it has the speedometer wire. I wonder if they just loop back and go to this. But anyways, anyways, anyways. Jibber dabber, yippity yap. So, yeah. We're getting there. Working on it. Uh... Appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Leave me a comment. I reply to pretty much every single comment. I like replying. Uh, have a good day.